Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're going to talk about the end of the season for brassicas, some of the problems you can face with them. These here are my little mini wombok, which is a type of uh, Chinese cabbage. And as you can see, they've been getting chewed a fair bit. Uh, and down there, down in there is a clue what's chewing them. Uh, that is caterpillar poop. Um, cabbage moth caterpillar is been absolutely hammering these. I'm out here every day picking off caterpillars and yeah, I'm not having too much success keeping up with them. So they're getting hammered and hopefully we'll get a harvest out of them, but we'll just have to see what happens. You know, the little green is the typical of the freshly laid stuff. Uh, you can see it's turned white there where it's soaking in water. And when it dries off, you get the little black specks. So as I said, I am out here every day checking them and they blend really well with the cabbage. So they're hard to find. Next up, we have our cauliflower. Now, it may seem very silly to have a clothes pin on your cauliflower. The idea behind that is to try and keep some of the sunlight off it and to keep them from going to flower. Uh, the head of the cauliflower is actually the flowering section. You can see that one's looking nice, but it's about ready to harvest. Again, these are only a mini one. I grow the minis because they get, get up to harvest a lot better and less chance of these problems happening. So, uh, come in underneath and harvest him. So, one little cauliflower for dinner. Uh, it's not huge, but it's enough to go on my plate. And you see again there, it's been getting hammered by the caterpillars. Well, there's an, lots of leafage. We come across to this one here, which has been getting hit real hard. And as you can see, I haven't got a lot of cover over it. And that's starting to turn to flowers. So, it's heading up, turning the flowers, actually, right there, is one of our horrendous little caterpillars. Now this one is gonna get pulled up because it's gonna to turn to flowers. I don't want one that's not resistant to collect seed from. So that's gonna go out to the chickens and they will find him and eat him. At last up of our late season brassicas and we have the kale plants. Uh, as you can see, they've been delivering all winter. You know, that thing's two foot high. It's monstrous. Um, now what they're wanting to do is head to seed again. We can fix that by finding where it's heading the seed and there's not a seed head section in there at the moment. Nothing in there. Oh, none of those are heading the seed yet. And we just snap it off. You can see there's a couple of snaps just there where they've headed to seed and I've snapped them. And they do actually put extra shoots out the side. You can see this has got multiple branches up the top here. You know, going great. You know, it's still got a little bit longer left in it. You know, as long as it doesn't turn bitter, it's fine. You can see down here on the stalk, we're setting up more branches. Um, that one's the Black Russian, which has tended to go to seed a lot earlier. These ones here are a Tuscan kale, and they have not shot the seed as quick. But again, you can see where they're sending out smaller branches, and they're trying to multiply. So again, when they come up the seed, we'll snap the seed, seed head off, and rely on these smaller branches to give us some more kale. All right, that's it, pretty short and simple. 
Um, that's how we treat some of the late season problems in the brassicas. Thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now.